Hello, everybody. Uh, everybody in Medway, hello from Liverpool. Um, Pastor Steve asked me to do uh, a few slides that I did a few weeks ago in Liverpool. And he's also asked for Jana's testimony. So, yeah, we're trying to do the best as we can with a mobile phone, but uh should be okay. So, yeah, we'll start with the testimony. Hello, hello there. Um, yeah, praise the Lord. Um, my testimony goes back when I was 13 years old, and uh, that's when I heard the gospel. And um, for me personally, I was really happy to hear that there is a way, that there is a God, and that I could have a, an experience with him. So, um, yeah, I was baptized by full immersion, and I received the Holy Spirit, and I spoke in, spoke in tongues, um, and I knew then that God was real. Um, all my searching and all my kind of uh, depression went uh, in that moment. I knew God, I knew why I was born and what I was meant to be doing, and uh, I was just really excited. So God made me instantly happy, and and uh, he gave me answers uh, to life and to the meaning of life. And yeah, the Lord started working in my life instantly. Uh, so the first thing that I can recall is that I, I I read the Bible just after I got spirit filled and it had a brand new meaning. I, I just uh, could understand it and um, it was exciting and yeah, the Lord's been there for me all those years. Um, I've had many healings, uh, God's uh, done so much, uh, many miracles, uh, been miraculously healed and our children have been healed. Uh, I've moved to countries twice and that as well I just praise the Lord the Lord's always blessed it and, and just um, put it to the Lord and, and and he's just been there for me so whatever the circumstance is um, the Lord's always been the same uh, and uh, yeah maybe I'd like to share one healing testimony um, and that I don't share that often um, this is uh, maybe eight years ago and um, and I, 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 life was busy and we had two young very young children and and um, I found a lump in my uh, breast and in my armpit and that really scared me uh, and uh, at that time, at around that time, uh, a young sister in the Lord passed away and in that moment I just I just was overcome with fear um, and that was, that really scared me and I couldn't shake it off and and um, I just, I prayed and but I, this fear had a grip on me and, and maybe like in today now in this situation a lot of People are gripped with fear. So this testimony came to my mind, uh, you know, as I, as I was thinking which one to share. And so um, I I just thought that God can heal, but I don't know if I'll have that faith to be healed by God. And so I put put myself under pressure thinking, oh, I'm not going to have this faith to, to, to be healed. So that was my state of mind during this time. And it wasn't until I... Um, I spoke to my mom on the phone and she's spiritual and baptized and, and she she ministered to me so uh, she just said she just brought me back she made me look uh, back on my life and basically she, she just um, made me look at, at my life and see how God was in every situation and how how I had instant healings and I had other situations but at the end of each of uh, each of them God was there at the end of the day it was all good and God stepped in and God made it good and and that was something I could believe it was much easier to believe than to believe in this overnight healing a miraculous healing and it just gave me comfort and knowing that yes God God's gonna bring it uh, to a good end it's it's all gonna be well in the end and that was much far easier thing to believe than just to put myself under pressure and oh I have to be healed overnight or uh, and I, ju I just trusted the Lord from then on the fear left me and uh, and that was a victory I think uh, like uh, rather than a healing just victory uh, over this fear that uh, that fear had no grip o over me anymore and so for, of course all the tests and everything was fine and uh, uh, there was nothing wrong just like like always the Lord always um, makes a good ending and so since then just it's been just a really good lesson to know that God is in charge and whatever happens whether it's um, you know a hard hard time we're going through uh, whatever it is it might seem really dark but at the end of the day we're in God's hands and and, and it's easy to believe God, God is a good God and we're his children, he cares for us. So, yeah, hopefully that, that makes sense. Um, 
and uh, yeah just um, praise the lord for all things and uh, that we have future and now we don't have to fear we just have to look to him and yeah and expect good things so praise the lord and take care god bless thank you sister yana praise the lord so uh now we'll, we'll go into the slides uh, uh the presentation hopefully this works okay so the title of the talk and presentation is help and um people might think well that's a bit of a strange one but we're just going to have a look at it today and maybe dissect it and pull out a few scriptures and yeah pull out a few a bit of encouragement around the whole subject we are living in difficult times and I suppose we do need to trust the Lord and we do need to uh, pray and uh, most of us have never been through anything like this before uh, but the Holy Ghost can uh, really prepare us and uh, for anybody out there who may be listening to a talk uh, on this uh, channel for the first time um, we are the Revival Fellowship, uh, we do believe in the Bible and the experience that the Bible talks about uh, repentance, uh, baptism by full immersion and receiving the Holy Spirit and speaking in tongues as we've heard in the testimony today. And and then uh, it's all about walking in the Spirit and uh, using that Spirit to have a happy, fruitful life and to be a shining light in a dark place. And that's why we look, look at little subjects like this. So we're going to look at help and hopefully this works okay. Okay. First slide, help. What is it? Uh, maybe a strange subject, maybe a strange question, but uh, yeah, hopefully we can make sense of it as we go along. Um, when people uh, hear the word help, a lot of people will break into song instantly. Help, I need somebody. Uh, other people will think the word help, uh, what it means or what it brings to mind is uh, maybe a call of desperation. Uh, other people might just think, well, you're just giving somebody a dig out or as we see in the top right hand picture, just helping somebody up. Uh, it might even mean that, yeah, there's a bit of work going, not at the moment, but yeah, help wanted. Help, it might mean support, assistance, advice, information, um, or just to lift somebody up. But uh, it can mean, as soon as people hear that word, it means so many different things to them. Um, this is the dictionary meaning of the word help. Um, it, it says to make it easier or possible for someone to do something by offering them one's services or resources. Uh, to give assistance or support to, to make it possible or easier for someone to do something by doing part of the work yourself or providing advice, money, support. So I think we all kind of, as we read that, we, we probably would think, yeah, I knew that. That's, that's exactly what it is. Um, but it might mean different things as well to different people. In the Bible, uh, you don't really have to go very far in the Bible to find out that uh, it seems to be that the Lord's intention and what he wanted was to help people. And right back in Genesis, uh, right back in chapter 2 and verse 18, the Lord said, It is not good that man should be alone. I will make him a helpmeet for him. And uh, he saw Adam all alone, felt for him, and decided he needed a bit of company. And the word he used, used was help me. So God's intention right from the start was to help mankind. That's, that was his desire coming from his inner heart that he wanted to help mankind. The word help me uh, means a helpful companion or partner, especially one's husband or wife. Uh, and there's another a really interesting meaning that it kind of brings up that really jumped out to me is to make up the deficiency. And really in the Bible, maybe, or in life, when we think about helping somebody or wanting to help, maybe that's what we're doing. And maybe that's what the Lord does with us. So right from day one, when we get baptized and we receive the Holy Spirit and we speak in tongues and the Lord sets us free and uh, changes our life. But as we go along, we will need help and we will need either help from somebody or from him to make up the deficiency. The word help in the Bible, uh, Ezra, uh, means, it maybe it means a bit more than our dictionary meaning because it means to aid from perishing. Uh, it appears 110 times in the Old Testament and 11 times in the New Testament. So help is a theme that runs right through the scriptures um, and maybe means a little bit more. The Lord 
Yeah, he wants to save our souls. He want, Yeah, he does want to help us out in our day-to-day life, our relationships and all sorts of things that we have to, uh, I suppose, uh, deal with. But really, uh, bottom line is aid from perishing. He wants us to live forever, save our souls. And there's some wonderful Psalms. There's one there. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. And that's the wonderful thing about the Lord. It is a uh, very present and at any particular time, even right now, in the, with the way things are in the world, uh, the Lord is on us. Um, he's alive to, uh, for the issues we face, uh, to the worries we may have. And he, he's present and he's ready to help, and if, particularly if we're in trouble.